All right, you guys. Good day, good day, good day. Welcome to the Noble Elf Show. Remember, you guys, to go and we, first of all, we want to thank all of you guys for supporting us here. Eh? It's really made a huge dish difference for us. We've been able to do a lot of things that we're really grateful for. And the people here say a huge thank you to each and every one of you. Now, um, you guys can visit us on the new website. Also, you can join our online email group. Uh, you can email us for that at themullings at gmail.com. You can also join our online tutor school class. We're up to 13 assignments, you guys. It's a divine uh, class, you guys. It's a tutor school. Uh, you can also join us on the two YouTube channels, Noble L and Noble L the Second. Um, remember to like, share, and subscribe. You can also email us for a private email consultation for those of you with court matters, such as um, if you wish to set off matters, such as child support cases, tickets, citations, mortgages, foreclosures, utilities, auto loans, student loans, warrants. And for those of you having to see an agent doing business as parole officer, as well as those of you in the church is doing business as jails for non-violent offenses. You can email us at themullingsatgmail.com. We do have to ask for donations for our time and research, you guys. For the GSA bonds templates to set off, set off matters, and then the 1099 OID, and a whole host of stuff you guys hear us talk about here. The cease and desist um, affidavit, the um, do not um, detain affidavit, the IRS status correction, um, uh, the international bills of exchange, the international money, promissory notes and money orders, and um, the herbology book for natural cures, and a whole host of stuff that, um, yeah, was shared with us here. You can email us for those. Those of you who wish to um, correct your status on the record and claim your birthright who are Moors, you can go to rvbaypublications.com um, to claim your nationality identification cards. Um, remember to please, we ask everyone to please support us here. Go to paypal at themillingsatgmail.com. And I'd like to start now. First of all, before I get started, I'd like to pray because some stuff just came to us here, you guys. And I thought that a lot of the stuff was cleared up, but apparently there's some, I don't know if more inf stuff is being revealed. Maybe that's why there's some more information coming out. Um, so... I want to put a hedge of protection around Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, the Army, the Navy, the military, the Marines, all the good people globally who's helping us to get free. Um, thank you to Gene Decode, Kirsten, Scott, and all the people who is on the ground sharing um, their knowledge and some military intel with us globally here so that we can um, remain and yeah, to help us to stay free. So we just want to say thank you to all the people um, on the ground doing all this work. Just put a hedge of protection around them, God, because it's a lot of stuff. All right, now, Attention Office of Housekeeping, you guys. Attention Office of Interpol, the International Criminal World Court, the Army, the Navy, the Military, the Marines, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Michael Flynn, JFK, and all the good people that are in, um, yeah, all the international authorities. I come to you in good faith in one's proper person as a living flesh and blood Sentient being Suri Juris Suri heiress, heir to the world's vast estate, Wilbonite tribe chief, American Indian, a lodial title Moorish American national who uses Article 1, Section 2, Clause 3, and um, AA222141 as um, Native Americans, American Indians, uh, the original indigenous people, Moors, who are tax free and tax immune and tax exempt, right? Um, as Rubus Red Rose, angel in Latin, asexual sea plant. Now, I command and order and demand you go now and find the agent who is interfering with Kirsten and Jean Decode. Can you guys imagine that? These guys are out here doing all this amazing work for us. None of us, I sure as heck would never have known about the underground stuff that was, some of it, what, 18 stories deep? Who knew? And all the stuff coming out now that apparently it was all under the Caribbean. So uh, find these entities who are interfering with the good people underground and dear God, Kirsten had a channel that had 128,000 um, subscribers. Please put that channel back up because that is what we use here. We do the spiritual divine work where the ancestors, the angels, and the gods will reveal to us things that are going on on the ground long before um, we hear it in the physical world, right? These guys get the physical information in this uh, realm that we're in called Earth and then report it in their channel, and that's how we know what we've reported spiritually has now manifested in the physical form. 
So we're asking you now, we're commanding and ordering you now to put back those channels, all of them, because we use all of them to um, confirm all the stuff that we're putting out here spiritually as it's a divine and national movement. So put back her channel and all the other channels that we were using, right? Put them back now in the name of Almighty God and all that is good. Something else I wanted to mention, as you know, there's a song that was playing out in my head. God in heaven, it was the worst. Um, and it wasn't such that it was a bad song originally, or the artist wasn't bad when he first started out, but it was the Chris Brown song. And then I made the mistake of listening to um, Staircase to Heaven recently. Um, and you need to <laughs> you need to stop. And I'm not seeing that it's a bad entity that's doing it. So if it's the Alliance, tell them to stop because it's playing on my head and I need to think and hear what the angels are trying to tell me. So yeah, and all the other people reported to us that they're also having the same experiences. Go now and tell them to stop playing those uh, mind control games, right? And also, thank you for sending us the emails on that day that we reported we didn't get any. Now we got our emails that particular day. Ask us if we got any more. I'll wait. So go now and see to it that we get our emails on the daily so people writing to us can get through and share with us their journeys and stories too so we can guide them to the best of our ability. So thank you for that. And what else? And yeah, thank you for all your hard work because there's a lot of stuff that we reported here, boy, that got um, implemented. And also, as you know, the entities here recently just mauled over that road from Chantilly to Sav. Have them pave the road just like they did at Scotiabank in three days, right? Scotiabank, you guys, had ripped up this area. I couldn't believe it. it was like Friday evening. They ripped it up, tore it up from the floor up. By Monday morning, you guys, I guess I want to even say Sunday evening or Sunday when we went, this place was brand spanking new. I don't know how they did it in such a short space of time, but if they can do that over there in no time flat, they can do that road overnight, right? So have them fix that road so the people's bicycles and automobiles are no longer impacted. Also, I want to thank Union for all of his hard work. Um, as you know, we managed to clear two drains um, here um, yesterday and the day before that. Um, it cost us a, a couple thousand. So yeah, we just want to say a huge thank you to him for his bravery. Um, you guys, these drains here are no joke, eh? This man... I couldn't believe it. It's not his real name. Um, was standing in the drain, man. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and um, managed to clear out all this stuff. And right after he cleared the drain, which is like a little river on one side, um, here comes these these birds. These birds, I have some of the birds I've never seen before. And there was fish and things living in there that you wouldn't even know was living in there. And here comes the birds right after it was cleared. Like they were just waiting for somebody to clear it. So thank you to the gods for that. And um, yeah, send us some more notes so we can continue to clear out the drains because as you can see, many if not all the drains in that particular location and many more around the territories are in fact clogged. And because it's an island, all the rivers and the drains are all interconnected. So with the drains being clogged, you know it clogged up the people's minds too. It's psychological warfare, you guys, biological weapons. So we're asking that all the drains be cleared. Now we will continue to do our part by the grace of Almighty God as we're guided to do so. Once the notes show up, we will try our best to do our stuff. And um, Kevin and Marcia and the people are very grateful for the drains being cleared. And even so much so that while... He was clearing the drains there. Other people in the community asked for their drains to be cleared as well. So he got a couple more jobs the same day. So um, our wish is that it'll be a community effort that the people will just wake up from the mind control stuff and start to reclaim their communities and stuff and start to do, um, yeah, because it's not hard. Once it's cleared, I said to them, all you guys have to do now is keep the plastic bottles and there was a lot of plastic. You know what I couldn't understand? They took out plastic bags, right? From so-called, which didn't even last because you, you're going to obviously use plastic bags. But I'm saying that they never did anything about the plastic bottles. You notice that? So sure enough, there was all these plastic bottles that was in the drain. So I was saying to them, okay, guys, so once it's cleared out, just keep it cleared. If you see plastic bottles or stuff like one or two, 
clear it out right away so it doesn't build up, right? Because what happened was when it had rained and that, um, yeah, some of these people place had flooded because the drains were not cleared, right? So I just want to say a huge thank you to the international authorities for that and all of you out there supporting us. We really appreciate it because it helps us here to help the people here with things like cleaning out their drains, right? And thank you for the fish man and the conch man and, um, yeah, some stuff that we were able to prepare for some of the people here. So thank you for that. And yeah, so that's what we want to talk about where that is concerned. But I want to show you guys some stuff that they sent to us now. So thank you to the international authorities for that. By Noble Honorable Ange Elinity Alfred El Rubenai Tribe Chief American Indian, Alodi Tunnel Morris American National, UCC 1-308 without recourse, all rights reserved. I stand by the book of Ruth by my deceased organ harvested husband and myself, Jackson. Now, all right, look at this, you guys. Let me just see if I can go through this, okay? In order, God give me the words to speak clearly. Now, first thing I want to touch on is that video I was talking about that um, the, the doctors in Texas made about the doctors testify before Texas State Senate to oppose mandatory sh um, shots. Okay, um, Char Dr. Char Charlie Ward Show put that out there. So I put the link to this video in the last video I created. If I post this on Noble L the second, all the people on Noble L the second go to Noble L, the original OG channel. I'll put the link in the description below for all the videos I've uploaded in the meantime and between time. So you can go over there and see what's going on, right? Now, so there's this. You guys can go now and click on that and listen to what happened. I think it was over 4,000 people died from the jab, right? Then we have a whole bunch of stuff that um, here is one's um, website. You guys can contact us there. We'll put this in the description below. You can get in touch with us over there, right? Then um, here's a song I was talking about, this song here. Oh my God, I love this song, but you got to stop playing it in my head. OJ's Stairway to Heaven. Oh boy. Yes. Um, now, um, Gene Decode here and Kirsten put out a video. Oh man, I wanted to show you guys this particular section. I'm not going to play it. I just want to show you something in it, right? Oh, yeah, it's part of New York. Yeah. It's okay, hold on. Let me see if I can scroll back just a little bit. Oh. Okay. 258 Cam Hero, Montac Point, Long Island entrances um, under old seven-story Montauk Tower in the nearby town of Montauk under the old Montauk Air Force Station, Block Island, East Hampton in the hill near a Montauk Point lighthouse behind old cement bunkers, Shadmore area, Shadmore. You guys, S-H-A-D-M-O-O-R, really, area, uh, west of Ditch Plains Public Bath House, southeast behind a boulder at the base entrance at the Fort, at a Fort Pond Bay, massive MK Ultra Orient, end times forces stored here, 25,000 hybrids and many high-level demonics, advanced Montauk research facility, as well as Nazi Thule, society sacrifice area now um this uh montauk area that they're talking about was a was um adjacent to long island but it's like an island onto itself right hang on uh 42 i want to show you 42 42 hang on right about here pittsburgh is still under um cabal control uh, North Carolina, and I want to say South Carolina. Um, you guys can read that. If the Spirit of God will just allow me, I'm going to have to put this on mute so this I can play this right. Yes, I want to play something here. Of course, it didn't even move. Hang on. Because I want to read something to you guys. It said 4242. Okay, this is it. Hang on. Okay, New York, 255. Um, this is under um, 
white hats control now new york manhattan under the um entire city you hear that you guys new york manhattan under the entire city um the ninth circle sacrifice is done under the under and uh, accessed by the um episcopal church of saint john the divine at th what is this i can't really see the number is it three is it three 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 um i want to say 103 street and amsterdam also entrances under the empire state building and from the lincoln tunnel very deep underground city supporting very high-tech research montauk an ancient um what is this word something ancient hang on Let's see if it'll come clear ancient Al atlantean related technologies also east river submarine entrances right now um hang on i want to show you guys something else here they put up a video where they were showing the children leaving the white house i want to show you that but i also wanted to show you something else here hang on okay um okay the guadalupe mountains farmington airport alliance resistance and headquarters vast angelics presidents presence and other alliance assets directly protected by the power of the one god of all creation so this is under white hat control now right however there's another one that's still under cabal control hollow man afb code name dandelion um where the granada hang on hang on one second i read it okay where the granada treaty was signed by eisenhower in 1954. however there's another place they were talking about um where they were saying that underneath the Caribbean Sea, and I was wondering if maybe that's why the drainage weren't kept clear. Um, yeah. Okay. While I was reading that, however, that section about Manhattan, here's what came to me. Remember the movie National Treasure, you guys, with Nicolas Cage? And what is his name? Cage, right? Remember, they had, what, people in cages? And one of the places they reported, I'm going to put the links to all the stuff in the description below right one of the things that they were reporting about was that one of those underground uh, military facilities had i want to say people and i want to say they were kept in some kind of it wasn't just a cage it was some kind of um was it a hologram or if, I, if memory if it comes back to him i'm, I'm going to say it anyways in the movie national treasure you guys remember the scene where they were in um, I thought it was Manhattan. Apparently they were saying it was Philadelphia, but they were in front of this church and then they went in the church and then under the church was all those treasures, right? So I just thought that was interesting because a lot of the stuff is in the movies, eh? Then while they were reporting um, as well, they were talking about Langley. Langley is another military facility underground, which was supposed to be housing the CIA stuff there, right? Do you guys remember the movie um, Born Identity with Jason Bourne? Do you remember the character in the movie? I think her name was Langley, and she was head of the CIA project during the mind control. Remember that movie? And then as I was typing it in, this came up, the Manchurian Candidate with um, Denzel Washington, right? The CIA and mind control, John Mark, CIA map mind control work would have remained buried forever as the men one former project officials put it our secret was so great um the incident i scribed the incident but his identity was learned from the papers of george um enough lsd to turn on every man woman and child wow so there was that right and then um, there was this movie as I was listening to them talking about these one facility that had 18 stories They took out one story and then discovered there was 18 stories. 
no one has 18 stories but there was a few that they took out they only took out like the first level only to discover there's like five or six other levels so that's what you have to pray you guys because i'm just like dear god in heaven that's a lot you know so um this movie die hard the one where it's called a good day to die hard right 2013 directed by john moore uh with bruce willis um sebastian Koch, mary elizabeth uh john McC mclean travels to russia to help out his seemingly it was his son let me see if it'll come up on imbd hang on his son i think was playing a spy right but there was a scene where they're having this actually there was two scenes there was one where they're in this i think it's this building here no there was one where they're in this building i think it looked like it was a I want to say a hotel or upstairs in a in a hotel in a restaurant or something that was closed and there was another scene where they were having I just remember them either falling into the water to survive but there was all these different levels in this building right anyway John McCain travels to Russia to help out his seemingly wayward son Jack do not play this movie because I'm not playing that you know um, to help out his son, um, Jack, only to discover that Jack is a CIA operative working undercover, causing the father and son to team up against the underworld forces. See you guys? Then, um, hang on, there was that, that one, Gene Decode was showing, I wanted to go through more of those, but I want to show you something else first. Um, hang on. Oh yeah, Cat Williams. I was watching a lot of Cat Williams. Cat Williams, I think, I don't know if he knew exactly, but if you listen to a lot of the stuff he says, this one is talking about orange chicken. And he's making a joke about if the, the so-called whites, Caucasians, turn against or have a dispute with the Chinese, how the so-called blacks are not going to back the whites because of orange chicken that the Chinese create, right? So I was thinking about orange chicken, you guys chicken you remember those parties what chicken meant so i'm wondering if this was like a code i don't even know man so um there was another one that they put out just recently uh this one here i think was about the um the rv uh they were saying that there was an outage in iraq was it yesterday a couple days ago that there was a blackout and they were taking the, out the M-O-S-S-A-D in the meantime, in between time. So, and a lot of this C-O-V-I-D stuff was cover for the RV. So that was something to think about, right? I'll put this in the description below so you can hear more. Then this one that these guys just, they just sent to me. Um, hang on, just at the very tail end of it, I had it all up and running here. Hang on, mute that for a second. But I just want to show you guys something here. You guys can watch at the very end of this one. You will see it's just like a, a very short um, section in this video. You'll see the children that are coming out. I want to say coming out of the White House that they're rescuing right here. Okay, these little, I don't know if you could see these little people here. These are the children that they're rescuing at night coming out with backpacks, they said, right? So I'm going to put this in the description below because some of you guys were asking the question about is it true? Are they rescuing children in the White House? Anyway, you'll see the little children coming out here, right? Now I want to go back to this one here because I want to show you guys some of the areas that are still um, under. There's quite a few areas that are still under cabal control. And what came to me when I was reading this and listening to this was that a lot of the entities, the agents doing business, politicians and senators that were recently captured, right, started to sing because they would basically know where these um, are, are located, right? So it looked like when I was listening to Gene that they had a list originally and then that list grew as they were capturing more too. They were able to identify possibly other locations that's what's coming to me so when you watch this now it says Bodhi 
um, yeah, cleaned by the White Hats. Um, the 11th of May, 2020, first entry was April the 11th. Final destruction was 11th of May, 2020. Um, there was something that I wanted to read to you guys. I want to say, hang on, um, let me see if memory will serve me here. One of these underground military bases, you'll see it in this video, uh, back from 1995, they had, um, all this stuff going on underneath there. In addition to the fact that the people, some of the crew and the people that were actually on the 9-11, um, aircraft, cause remember I was saying to you guys, remember all the reports that we had received originally first, it was the aircraft that went into the two buildings. Then they discovered and reported it was bombs that they planted in the building. Then, um, it was reported. I want to say, was it Fraser Crane? Um, one of the producers or something for that show, it was reported. I think Fraser made an interview saying that, um, saying that I think one of the producers was on that plane, right? So when they were reporting it, there was a few things people were reporting and I couldn't see the people passing. Like I couldn't get the energy of them passing. So I was saying, I wonder if they're housing them somewhere. Sure enough, in this uh, video, you will see in one of these uh, military um, bases, they're being housed there, you guys. Do you guys remember this show as I'm talking about this? This show just came to me. Let me see if I can remember the show now. Mm. It was some kind of survivor show. Um, hang on. As I'm going through this, it'll probably come back to me, the name of that show. But that's what has come to me when I'm watching this stuff, right? Um, but some of these are still under, like this one, Castle Air Force Base um, Atwater is still under cabal control, right? The entire, underneath the entire Pittsburgh, you guys, is still under cabal control. Pittsburgh people, China Lake um, uh, was a mind control facility. It's now under White Hat's con Alliance control. Um, and a lady put out a video today about the med beds who was one of the galactic, um, psychics. And she was saying, if memory serves me, I think she said they're going to be med beds will be all over the world. I want to thank the powers that be. They sent me an email recently about, I think the med bed was in Denver or something. And, um, yeah, I'd written back to them. So thank you for that. All right. China Lake mind control and weapons research natural neutralized thousands of children. Um, oh, it's been neutralized. Thousands of children rescued from the massive spark cap gap grid system, then destroyed by tactical nuke. Okay. All right. Now. Okay. C U S G S link recent earthquakes in California and Nevada not earthquakes, you guys, but, and then they're also reporting, you guys remember I did a video recently and I was saying that this guy was reporting about some weather conditions, right? And I was saying, we were talking about this other psychic that had reported to everyone to leave the Caribbean, leave it now, whatever. And I was saying that I, we had to talk to the angels for about four hours and the ancestors were reminding us and telling us that um, these landmines or these um, mines that were put in the waterway, um, for, I was there for many, many moons, you guys, many, many years. And so a lot of these uh, two tsunamis and stuff that we were hearing about, things like Dorian or New Orleans and stuff like that, um, was actually the weather modification programs, right? Sure enough, in one of these um, places, in these videos, you will see either this one or the other one. You will see um, Gene is showing you the cloud formation in the sky and how it actually folded. Because what they were doing was also time control. They're controlling the time, you guys. So then I was trying to figure out how did we go from Moors as Moors? We're a we're 500 year out, right? 500 time difference out. 
and then the Julian calendar, which is a 13-day time difference. And then you know that in South Africa, you're what? How many years? They're how many years behind? and Or they use a totally different time system. And then as you do this research now, you find out there's all these different time zones that we don't even know about. So I just thought that was interesting. Um, these are the screenshots. Oh, my God, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Can you guys see this? Oh my God, these are the screenshots, you guys, of children in what? C-A-G-E-S from the what? Dark, oh my God. The Yeah, they sent us a whole bunch of um, videos recently on these commercials. These There's a place, one of these military bases houses like miles upon miles of not only historical documents, but some old movie, like Hollywood movies, the footages, the footage footage from those movies and um like a treasure trove of 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 documents is housed in one of these places but they sent us all these commercials these one minute you know few second commercials some of them were i guess misplaced in okay they had a commercial and it was connected to a show but the commercial aired in the wrong spot and then um, there was a cartoon. I don't know if it was a commercial or what. I don't know if they were leaking out some of this information, but Taco Bell was in one of these commercials. And let's just, if I find the commercial, I'll put it in there so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But there was some reference to some of the stuff we now know about these um, restaurants and stuff, things that they were doing, right? And international source authorities see to it now that all those fast food restaurants are cleaned up, right? And all the food and stuff. And we have been looking at some of the foods, you guys. Some of the canned goods here have been cleaned up tremendously. Like, I opened a can. I think it was green peas yesterday. I couldn't believe it. Normally, you're, you're afraid when you open up a can of green, green peas that they're old and decrepit. You just want to chuck it, right? These actually look decent for the first time ever. Um, the evilness is real and the people, um, need to know it is really going on. Mm, oh my God, you guys. Frightening. Okay. Let me see what else is there now. It's just scary. Yeah. Um, yeah, they were talking about the dark web in, um, something they sent to me recently about was it the hackers i think it was about the hackers and they sent me all these videos about bill gates and the theft that he did on was it apple and all this stuff that took place these guys stole a lot of this information these things that they were these companies they were running a lot of those um technologies that they claimed they created they actually stole them from other people i'll put the links to those in the description below so you can see what i'm talking about all right, Cushman, High Energy Technologies Research. Um, this is now under um, White Hat's control. Pine Bluff is now under White Hat's control. And then, um, hang on. So much, in, so much. I was just like, I had to watch this two or three times. I might have to watch it again because it was just so much information that I, I thought when the last one that I saw, I thought he had said that they were done, but I think because they captured so much more, they got more information. San Francisco, San Francisco Bay Area had a vast tunnel and a dumb network um, with literally hundreds of entrances from, and in this, Gene is thanking the Native Americans. You're welcome, Gene. We will continue to pray for you guys and support you guys. Ah, oh, okay, dumb network with literally hundreds of entrances from manhole size to truck size all dumped and that you know what i was thinking about when i was thinking of when i was reading this do you guys remember the movie die hard again the one with simon says when they're in the trucks remember they were moving the gold from fort knox over to montreal quebec whatever and they were underneath these tunnels right in these trucks that's probably reference to this stuff right all right now, dumb network with literally hundreds of entrances from manhole size to truck size. Now, international authorities, go and help out. Um, I want to say 
B I T Z. I think he commented in the comment section that they were interfering with his mail. Interpol, go and see to it. The guy gets his mail now because they had interfered with his mail for was it January to April or March or something. See to it. He gets his his mail now. All right, dumb network with literally hundreds of entrances from manhole size to truck size. They showed um, yesterday. They sent me this uh, video on these trees, you guys. This tree, <laughs> there's some trees around the planet that are like life threatening. You got to be really careful. You can't even touch them, man. Um, but this tree here, like, look at it. It's like red. It looks like blood, right? This is unbelievable, man. Anyway, some of these trees are like deadly poisonous. So I was wondering if some of the stuff was in those COVID jabs. International authorities, that what's in this job? Some of these um, things from these trees, these poisons. And then they were showing us what some of this fruit actually looked like originally. Like watermelon was just this little thing. All these, I'm going to put this in the description below so you guys can see all this stuff here, right? Um, and this is the one about the med bags, right? This is the one I just got. So I'm going to go back to this. Um, yeah. Unbelievable. All these underground military bases were interconnected. They had entrances from the following areas and many more. Canary Row, and then they list them there, right? Wheat, the wheat refinery built but was never used. And New Star Energy Fuel Storage Facility, um, Diablo Mountain, San Francisco area, um, Gazerville, Maya, Maya, what? M A Y A G M A S Mountain, and then Mare Island Preserve, um, Monterey Bay Intercontinental Submarine. And fair use clause applies here. I'm just reading the stuff that, because he didn't read all of it. They were trying to go through it so quickly, you know. I had to pause it and read it. Um, this one, um, Palms Marine Base, is now under White Hat's control, the Alliance. It's identified on the military map as an airspace area. Um, north, south, east of Ludlow. Ancient Invaders Base. Um, also Anaheim, also under White Hat's control. Um, Bakersfield is under White Hat's control. Part of the huge uh, Ridgecrest system. Bartstow under um, Camp Irwin connected by submarine tunnel is under white hat's control um to china lake and he they're also saying in minamar minamar they shut down the i i want to say it was the internet over there because minamar was supposed to be the hub of all the drug trafficking apparently so 80 percent of that has been taken out um china lake and the military they were saying were going against the people but they were really taking out the bankers it was the bankers you guys Okay, and many other um, underground facilities there in Nevada and California complex. Benicia um, is now under White Hat's control. Underground, it's been neutralized with underground burnout. Um, burnout caused fires to be seen in Porto Ranch coming out of the manhole covers. They showed this manhole with these trees that had grow overgrown in the actual manhole. I was like, what? Um, Bodhi is under White Hat's control. Um, cleaned by White Hat's on May the 11th, 2020. First entry on April the 11th. I think I just read that. Final destruction on May the 11th, 2020. Okay. 
and then they have the time that it happened 20 43 36 UTC and they have the link that you guys can go and see the aftershocks he's got a whole bunch of links at the end of this one I think or was the other one I'm gonna put them both in so you guys can see I think it's this one okay Cadiz um, of Clipper Mountain and this is for us here who do our little homeschooling because we need to know what's going on right um, Cadiz, south of Clipper Mountain, northwest Bonanza Springs, advanced aircraft. I was talking to some of the people here, <clears throat> or listening to some of the conversations. Some of them are waking up, I don't know if they're putting out stories, I don't know if it's true or not, but you actually hear the people, some of them are talking some sense now for the first time in God knows how long. So I was really grateful to hear that. Um... Cadiz, south of Clipper Mountain, northwest of Bonanza Springs, advanced craft research, um, now under White Hat's control. The base camp Pendleton, Pendleton, Pendleton um, is under White Hat's control, but Castle Air Force Base, you guys, Atwater, still under Cabal control. Um, Catalina Island is now under White Hat's control. Um, Mm. So they go through it here state by state. Um, China Lake, um, I just read that one. Hang on. Chocolate Mountain is still under um, Cabal control. Clear Lake is cleared. Um, Concord Naval Weapons Station now under White Hat's control. Darwin under White Hat's control. Death Valley, however, um, still under Cabal control, you guys. Death Valley entrance to the Death Valley Tunnel is in the... Per Panamint Mountains down on the lower edge of the range near Wingate Pass in the bottom of an abandoned mine shaft. You know what just came to me when I was listening to this and reading this recently? Uh, there was some uh, YouTubers who travel. They were, I think they renovated or they bought one of those uh, buses that they contoured, right? Traveling. Um, those RVs. Anyways, they were saying that, I think it was Australia, they couldn't get the license for the automobile because so many more people in Australia had the very same idea. So at first you're like, okay, so they're backed up. Then when I'm reading this, I'm thinking, oh, maybe what's really going on is they're cleaning out the underground facilities and they don't really want anyone on the roadway. Just a thought. Okay, the Deep Springs is um, under White Hat's control. That was a massive advanced tech and DNA research center. Um, oh my God, demonic presence, massive. And mind control, massive facility connected to Area 51 in Nevada. Oh boy. Then you got Edwards Air Force Base. Um, that's now under White Hat's control in the area where Diamond Court, um, and South Fork of the Yuba meet, DEW weapons and advanced craft research. Then you've got, um, and they said, look at the symbols, eh? They said symbology will be their downfall. All these symbols, man. Mm. El Paso Mountains, um, below Iron Canyon, northwest of Garlock, um, demonic activity there, advanced craft, research, electronic, 
Mind Control Ultra um, Control Grid in El Paso, now under White Hats. Essex is under White Hats. Fort Irwin under White Hats. Fort um, Ord now under White Hats Control. Okay, I'm going to put, I'm now gone over my time. So I'm going to put this in the description below so you guys can see the rest of them. Hellenic is under White Hats. Lancaster is under uh, Black Hats. Cabal Control. Landers is under Black Hats. Cabal Control still. North of the Giant Rock. Um, yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot here, right? I thought they'd gotten all of them. And some, like, they're in Mexico and the battle's on right now, you guys. We just have to pray for them. Uh, Lawrence and Livermore is under Black Hats, Cabal Control. Um, wow. Little Lake is under White Hats. Lano is under Black Hats. Um, Mare Island Naval Shipyard is under White Hats Control. Uh, Mojave is under Black Hats. Moreno, Black Hats. Morongo, White Hats. Mount Lassen, White Hats. Mount Shasta, Cabal Control. Wow. It's 800 miles deep, you guys. 800 miles deep. That's unbelievable. Napa Valley is under White Hats Control. Needles is under White Hats. Norton Air Force Base, Black Hats. Oakville is under Black Hats. Palmdale is under White Hats Control. Mm. Wow, Navajo Dam is under Black Hats Control. Wow, the tunnels connect to the wineries, you guys, north of Napa, used for white slavery and mind control. Oh my gosh, can you believe that? They even had a slave ship of black breeders or something. Palmdale is under White Hat's control. Um, wow. White Hats Control near Palmdale. Plumas is under Black Hats Control. Presido is under White Hats Control. Providence is under Black Hats, Providence Mountains. Uh, PTM Magoo is under White Hats Control. Wow, look at that. Look at that, you guys. Quincy is under Black Hats control. Sultan is under White Hats. San Diego, White Hats. San Gabriel, White Hats. Hang on, hang on, I gotta go back. Hang on one second. Palmdale, I got that one. Plumas, Black Hats. Presido, White Hats. Providence, uh, Black Hats. P.T. Megu, White Hats, um, mm. this looks like it's from the movie Atlantis, Quincy is under Black Hats, Salton Sea Black Hats, San Bernardino White Hats, San Diego White Hats, uh, hang on. Tech Apache Ranch is under White Hats. I might have missed one in there. They're saying this one was like an anthill. 
That's 42 levels. 42 levels, you guys, with underground massive high-rise buildings. Unbelievable. Synthetics hybrid research um, with human AI hybrid hybriding and all manner of DNA research. Also the Northrop facility. Um, Tres Pinos is under White Hat's control. I was thinking about the guy that was talking about Montauk. Remember that guy that kept coming out on YouTube and whatever, talking about my Montauk project, never told us nothing? Trona is under White Hat's control. Trona, T-R-O-N-A. He kept talking about this Montauk project, and nobody knew what the Montauk project was. Now we know, right? Uh, Yukia is under... Hang on. Okay, Yukia is under White Hats. Vala, V A L L E J O is under White Hats control. Colorado, we're in now. Okay, Alamosa is under White Hats. Blanca Peak, White Hats. Book Cliffs, White Hats. Boulder, White Hats. Okay, Boulder is the headquarters for EMC, a type of electromagnetic mind control broadcast to modify the thinking of Americans and to control MK Ultra slaves genetics. Geology mining as related to tunneling and underground. You know what came to me as I was doing some research this morning? I was thinking about those agents doing business as mercenaries, pretending to be um, public governance, um, carrying weapons on the roadway, claiming to be police. I was wondering if they were all rounded up and arrested for high treason and genocide. And maybe what happened was they had to play out the script. That just came to me. I was like, what? Hmm. Because I was reading the body language. Um, you guys remember when I first started out, my job was to read body language, eh? And I was reading the body language of one of the agents doing business as police when they were rounding up that agent doing business as um, the pastor. And I was saying his body language didn't um, match his actions. It was almost like his body language to me said they were in trouble. They themselves were in trouble and they were playing out a script. That's what it just didn't. It didn't read right to me. Okay. Now. Um, Colorado Springs is under White Hat's control. Um, they had 45 underground steel buildings. What the heck? Colorado Springs, NORAD Defense for Canada. U.S. and FEMA, hundreds of staff contains at least 4.5 cubic miles of underground caverns and 45 underground steel buildings. This complex, this complex tracks thousands of satellites and missiles. Um, also controls many, uh, is that Montauk um, mind control? Um, what's that word? I don't want to have to go back. Or is it monarchy? It looks like monarchy. Slaves who have Alex, Janice, Alex, Alexis, end time, callback, programming. Nord installation has 1278 miles of road underground. 1,278 miles of road underground. Holy crap. Wow. Oh, I've gone back to the beginning. All right, guys, I'm going to stop it there because I've gone way back. All right, you guys, like, share, subscribe. You guys have yourself a great day. Um, remember to what? These are some of the affidavits that I sent off um, Yeah, recently. Some stuff that came to me that had to be rectified and remedied. Sent it off to the international authorities, boy. So, yeah. Um, you guys can support us here. Go to paypal at gmail.com. And remember, you can write to us on our website. And remember what we always say, peace to the gods, you guys. Peace to the gods. I just want to pray 
For everybody on the ground, all the army, the navy, the military, the marines, you guys must be exhausted. Honest, I'm feeling your energy. It is exhausting. I've been sleeping like a baby, though. It's like unbelievable, man. I can't take the stress of all this stuff, you guys, too much. Anyway, so hmm, faith without works is dead. Do unto others as you had others do unto you. It is the law, Matthew 7, 12. And yeah, um, peace to the gods, Psalms 82, 6. Who are the gods? You are. Put God first and all good things will come after. And um, yeah, you guys, just pray. I just... I was so wishing and hoping to get a message saying that they were all done, but there's some more gene key, gene decode I see coming up on the screen. So hopefully it'll be some good news next, right? Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Have yourself a great day. And thank you, thank you, thank you to each and every one of you for your support to us here. Um, please, you guys, go to PayPal, support us here so we can continue to help out the people here because God knows they didn't get none of the stimulus package or nothing. So we're just going by the grace of God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and have a great day.